Hello children. Now we are going to recall our landforms and water bodies lesson. So landforms abdinali, the different landforms on the surface of the earth is called as the different forms of land on the surface of the earth is called as landforms. There are so many types of landforms that are there in our country. So Namloda plains, plateaus, deserts, islands, uh, peninsular country, coastal areas, it all comes under landforms. Let's see one by one. The first comes your plains. So plains you know very well, it is nothing but the flat level lands are called as plains. The flat level lands on the earth is called as plains. In the plains when the usually it will be so fertile because the rivers, because of the rivers that flows through this region. So since rivers flow through this region, obviously the soil will be fertile and so agriculture will be the main occupation of the people. So since agriculture is good, water facility is there, the soil is fertile, so who, so you find the massive population. Human population will be more in these areas. So the best example is our northern plains. Now northern plains, it is the best example for the plains. This northern plains is also called as breadbasket of India. Because we get the maximum production of uh, wheat from this place. So the next is your plateaus. Plateaus are nothing but the flat uneven land are called as plateaus. So this is also called as table land. Because it, is, it will be flat at the top and steepy towards the sides. That is the plateaus. So it is Deccan plateau. So Deccan plateau covers the southern part and the middle part of India. So this Deccan plateau is also called as southern plateau. So the Deccan plateau is actually triangle in shape. So the main crop which is grown here is cotton. And next comes your valley. So valley is a very beautiful low land area that is found between two mountains. You could see the beautiful two mountains here. We are calling it as valley. So this valley it is filled with either forest or river or flowers. So suppose if the rivers are there between two mountains it is called as river valley. So there are many forests are also found between two mountains. So the best example which you are seeing here in this picture is the valley of flowers which is located in Uttarkhand. So these flowers bloom during summer season. So this is a very beautiful um, thing to be noticed. And next is your desert. So desert in the Patrama, the large area of sandy, rocky land is called as desert. So it is a very beautiful golden place, right? So this is desert. But this receives only very, 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 very less amount of rainfall. Adhanalada mandi in the climate it will be too hot during the daytime and too cold during the night time. And in uh, desert leave there is only one particular uh, place where the vegetation is possible. Angamatuna tanni vegetation alarko. And the edit we are calling it as Vyasis. So this Vyasis uh, you you could see in this picture and um what are all the plants and uh, plants will be there so only th short and tawny plants now and it is famous here and you so camels are called a ship of the desert because it has a smooth padded feet to walk uh, easily and comfortably over the sand and it has a hump on its back. So in the hump for the purpose in an apatramna it will store the water and it can uh, survive without water for 3 to 4 days it can survive. So it will store the, the water in its hump, hump at the back. So and camels are also used for riding purpose, camel safari. So you could say that as camel caravan. So the next is your coastal plains. So coastal plains, map I have drawn in black color sketch outline. We are calling it as coastal plains. So it is a strip of land along the boundary of the seas and oceans is called as coastal plains. So Tamil we will say it as Kadalora Pagudi. So in the Kadalora Pagudi usually will be very, 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 very hot. Or mari hot hour the cold hour it will be so warm temperature. So our eastern guards and western western coastal plains are the examples of coastal plains. And the next is your mountain. Mountains. So mountains are the, the raised portion on the earth's surface is called as mountains. So mountains are the, the tip of the mountain we are calling it as peak. And uh, the side portion the chain of mountains we are calling that as range. Chain of mountains we are calling it as range of mountains. So this will be mostly covered with uh, the white color area as actually snowfall. So it is very hard to climb over mountains since it is uh, since it hides very since it hides very high. Okay. So next is your hills. 
hills are similar to our uh, mountains but it is less compared uh, to the height less height when compared to mountains in the hills la paathutingna vand people will make uh, people will make uh, some uh, uh, people will make uh, agriculture on their uh, hill sites so they it is famous for agriculture so people made the hills the steps are made on the hills for agriculture Purpose. and uh, it is easy to climb over a hill it is not that difficult like uh, our mountain and mountain la pathinga you have a tip at the top which you call it as a peak whereas hills la vanda andha mari tip irukada it will be somewhat rounded top ah da irukum so this uh, the people who stays here will be living in a sloping slopy roof da irukum why so that hills and mountain areas la vanda usually heavy rainfall and heavy snowfall irukum so by the time it has to easily get swept away adanalada uh, vand it is having slopy roofs and the next comes your water bodies so what water bodies na nariya yeah, water bodies are there in our country rivers ponds lakes oceans then puddles in the madri kutti kutti ah irukadha puddles pond liye kutti size ah vand we are calling it as puddles so so many water bodies are there let's see one by one the first over here is your seas and oceans so seas and oceans na le you know very well it is a very large water body we call it as a seas and oceans so sea apdina le usually will be salty water ah irukum so there are five oceans in our world enna na five oceans irukka pacific ocean atlantic ocean indian ocean arctic ocean and antarctic ocean so antarctic ocean vand it is in the south ungalku theriyuda antarctic ocean vand it is in the south which you call it as a southern ocean nu solalam so pacific ocean la irukkaliye largest ocean in the world okay so these are the five oceans uh, which is there in the world and the next comes your rivers so rivers are very beautiful it is the long stream of flowing water is called as river so in the river vand it starts from the mountain range and it will end in the sea and ocean so this pass through many places many many states so example ganga yamuna krishna kaveri or some of the brahmaputra or some of the famous rivers that are located in our country so comparatively nammaloda longest river in the india pathina ganga whereas the longest river in the world in pathina it is nile river okay so this is about river and the next one is your lake so lake apdinale vand it will be just like river but it will be it will not move it will just be still and doesn't flow ad odadu apdiye irukum adu da it will be in still is called as lake so lakes are uh, it can be salty or it can be fresh water or uh, it can be fresh water so nama seas and oceans vand completely salty water ana lake vand salty water avu irukalam fresh water avu irukalam so this is formed naturally so human being vand nama vand thoor vara vena seyala but actually it is made naturally so the example for lakes namloda coimbatore uh, region indha mari ella vand nariya lakes irukku uh, but uh, here the example uh, what I have given is ular lake because it is the largest fresh water lake in the country so this ular lake is present in jammu kashmir but ninga picture la paathit irukkaradhu vand nam coimbatore la irukka river da okay nam coimbatore la irukka lake and next comes your pond pond is the smaller size of the lake kutti size lake oda periya portion la nu or chinna portion da vandu we are calling it as pond it is not that deep like lake lake madri romba deep a irukadhu it will be somewhat shallow and this is man made it is not man made naturally it is man made and um, people use this like a or a, a beautiful setup madri in their garden area la vandu they can uh, they can create pond naturally or uh, they can create pond by themselves so it can be made naturally or man made so pond la vande you could see many uh, lotus then water lilies uh, many hydrilla like uh, water water plants alla nariya vande pond la vande grow aagum next comes your glacier so glaciers abingirad vande it is a large moving iceberg on the land is called as glacier so you know very well nammalo earth vande it is covered 70% of the water adala maina vande we get only from this glaciers because it is a huge mass of moving iceberg so adala vande we are calling it as glaciers so in the mari places la la and throughout the year there will be snowfall so snowfall irundikite irukum in the glaciers area so arctic antarctic region la you could find this glaciers so i hope you have uh, understood this lesson and uh, got thorough by this lesson landforms and water bodies thank you